Hello everyone! In this video we will create this pretty simple but quite interesting and impressive torch with 2D reflection light effect. Sprites and scripts assets can be downloaded by the links in the description. First we add a brick wall to the scene. Then select brick wall sprite and duplicate it. Rename duplicated sprite to brick wall normal map. Change its import settings. Set texture type to normal map, check create from grayscale option, hit apply. Next create new material. Call it brick wall material. Set it rendering mode to cut out. And drag and drop brick wall normal map to normal map slot. Uncheck Specular Highlights option. Select our brick wall game object and drag and drop brick wall material into material slot. Our wall became dark, because there is no light source in our scene. Ok, next let's add a torch. Set it order in layer to 10, so it's rendered in front of everything in the scene. We're going to make it move, so let's add a simple movement script to it. Here we have direction x and direction y and move speed variables. Then in update method we read arrow keys pressing and move a torch by setting its transform according to input and move speed. Add this script to torch. Next let's create point light game object. Reset it. Place it at the point where fire is supposed to be. And change its z-axis value, so this light will be in front of other game objects. Like that. To make our fire burn more realistic, I'm going to change point light intensity randomly between some values. To create an illusion of flickering flame. Here is a script for it. We get light component and set its intensity randomly between min and max values every frame. Pretty simple. Add this script to point light object. Make point light to be a child of the torch. Next right click on torch and create new empty game object that will be a fire. Right click on fire and create another empty game object, which will contain fire animation. Make sure it's selected, go to animation window and create new animation. Select all of the flames and drag and drop them to animation timeline. Modify number of samples to slow animation down a bit. OK. Select fire animation object and change its order in layer option to be between brick wall and the torch. And you may add a sprite to it to make this game object visible in scene view. Place fire game object above the torch. Let's add some smoke effect. Create particle system, make it a child of a fire object, rename it as smoke particles. Set start lifetime to 2, start size to 3, set starting colors alpha channel to 20, for example, set simulation space to world, change shape, set angle to 0. Set radius to 0.7. Then check color over lifetime and set it alpha channel in the end to 0. Finally, set renderer sorter in layer option to 4.
our smoke is still behind the wall. To fix this, set its z-axis value to 0. Now we have a smoke effect. Position it a bit above the fire. Let's add some glow. Drag and drop glow sprite to fire game object. Set its ordering layer to 5. Place it in the center of the fire. And maybe make it a bit smaller. Like in point light case, I'm going to alter glow intensity to create some flickering effect. Here is a script for it. The script changes object color's alpha channel value randomly from 0.5 to 1 every frame. Add the script to glow game object. OK, everything is ready to be tested. Let's hit play and see how it works. Well, nice and simple. Thank you for watching, see you next time.